Imagine a habitable Venus, a twin of Earth flourishing under a scorching sun. Science fiction? Perhaps not so much. Currently, Venus is a toxic hellscape, with surface temperatures that melt lead and a suffocating atmosphere of carbon dioxide. But could we reverse this fate? The key lies in large-scale geoengineering. First, we would need to cool the planet. One radical idea is to deploy a giant space sunshade, a reflective shield located at the Lagrange point L1, between Venus and the Sun. This sunshade would reduce the amount of sunlight reaching the planet, allowing temperatures to gradually drop. Next, we have to address the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is the main culprit of the runaway greenhouse effect. We could bombard the atmosphere with magnesium and calcium dust. These elements would react with carbon dioxide, forming carbonates, which would settle on the surface, sequestering the greenhouse gas. Another, more futuristic option would be to release genetically modified bacteria capable of converting carbon dioxide into oxygen and other inert gases. This process, though slow, could transform the Venusian atmosphere into something breathable. With the temperature controlled and the atmosphere transformed, water could exist in a liquid state on the surface. We could import water from icy asteroids, directing their trajectory toward Venus. The impact of these asteroids would release water, which would form oceans and lakes. With liquid water and a breathable atmosphere, Venus would become a potential paradise. Life, even terrestrial life, could thrive. Floating cities would be built in the lower clouds, where the pressure and temperature are similar to those on Earth. Venus would be reborn, a second home for humanity, a beacon of hope in the cosmos. A planet that was once a symbol of desolation, transformed into a lush garden thanks to human ingenuity. Will we be able to make this dream a reality?